हरे कृष्ण एवरी वन वेलकम टू सोल प्लेस परफॉर्म ऑल ड्यूटीज टू प्लीज गॉड द ब्यूटी ऑफ द भगवद गीता इज दैट इट इज एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल ह्यूमन लाइफ द गीता काउंसिल्स सिंपली एंड रिपीटेडली दैट ही हु परफॉर्म्स ड्यूटीफुल एक्शन नॉट फॉर हिम सेल्फ बट फॉर गॉड इज सेव्ड बट हाउ डज वन डिटर्मिन विच एक्शन आर ड्यूटीफुल एंड विच आर नॉट द वे इज टू फॉलो द काउंसिल ऑफ समवन हु हैज विस्टम for that quality is lacking in the devotee in the beginning of his spiritual quest if one wants to be a lawyer the best course is to seek out a good one and learn his methods the ways in which he trained his mind to deal in legal matters so the same is true in seeking god follow a divine expert in india we call such a one a guru he who has followed the way and mastered himself and therefore is able to lead others a true guru is divinely guided and if you follow him you will know what your duty is what you want to do is not necessarily what you should do it is easy to do what you want to do but that is slavery to act according to the dictates of wisdom is true freedom but even this is just the first step toward being a true yogi you must then perform those dutiful actions physical mental and spiritual with the sole wish to please god then you are a yogi the excellence of yoga is that it points out both the goal and the way to the infinite god it says that you must be a renunciant in order to contact god and shows that there is no excuse to say you cannot do so Yoga teaches that whether living in the world or in a monastery within your mind you can renounce everything feeling that whatever you do is to please god so in yoga there are two kinds of renunciants those who renounce everything both physically and mentally and those who remain in the world to fulfill their obligations but mentally renounce all desires save the one desire to become united with god in meditation and in serviceful activity if you are inwardly watchful of your thoughts and your behavior it becomes much easier to mentally renounce everything for god and to renounce everything physically as well than you wish to do so You may renounce outwardly by running away to the jungle to see God but your undisciplined desires will go with you yet if you have renounced something in your mind it is nothing at all to forego it outwardly I enjoy the food I eat but inwardly I am aware that it is God who is eating through me therefore I feel no attachment to food if I eat all right if I don't eat I don't miss it The idea is to learn to relate all experiences to God. This kind of renunciation can be embraced by everyone, whether one lives in the world or secludes himself in a monastery. He who would find God must be inwardly a renunciant. Whoever performs his duties not for self but to please God becomes a true renunciant and a true yogi. Play your role well in the drama of life. It is wise to strive to do God's will in everything because that is the way to peace of mind and happiness. If you deeply ponder it, you will see that this is a colossal thought. A vast cosmos of the different forces of nature is tied together by God's directing power. Everything works in mutual harmony with the divine plan. We have to do our part. We must play the role that is assigned to us by the divine. not what we want to play when you use your own willfulness in opposition to the will of god you spoil this drama you do not contribute your share to fulfill the great plan of this universe why not say let me do what god wants me to do i think you will be much happier much more peaceful much better off there will be greater joy in your life when you strive to please god not self when you awaken in the morning a form Lord I offer this day unto you the little ego no longer holds sway in this body you alone dwell here as soon as you begin to find god within yourself you will also behold him in others then you can't hit anyone because you see him enshrined in all body temples it is a beautiful way to live in everything we do we should think of god 
in loving and serving our country our family and other loved ones we should love him above all else he must be first in our hearts and in in our lives that is why he has declared in the 10 commandments those shall have no other gods before me be in the world but not of it the lord did not create this world to torture us but to test us the purpose of this test is to see if in caring on our material duties we can still keep our mind centered in him the bhagavad gita says that he is not a yogi whose renunciation is solely outward nor is that man a yogi who forsakes dutiful actions we should learn to be in this world but not of it not absorbed or lost in its materiality